There, YouTube. Well, the dogs and I thought we might go ahead and give you a quick little look at the outside. That is Mr. Moose. He is three years old, a lab Australian terrier mix, and he is just the honoriest little thing. He's always getting himself into trouble doing something. <laughs> so, yeah, I've got some pots left here from last year. And Miss Frenchie, she likes to stand and survey the land here. Over here on my deck, I have a um, barrel that we use to collect water. And we've got a couple of those. I use them from the gutters here to water the garden beds with. So as we see over here, there's kind of uh, the, the setup, startup of the beds. I use these tubs for lettuce and spinach. I haven't gotten that soil amended yet, but um, I was mixing some up. I got the uh, soil recipe, I guess you could say, the super soil recipe, off of the Bumblebee Junction channel. Um, they've got an awesome uh, setup at their place, and anyway, I mixed it all up, and then I put the remainder in here. I've still got to fill up my other boxes and, and barrels and stuff that I have yet. But um, I got all of this soil over here ready to go. And uh, because of these lovely little creatures of mine, they like to get into the, to the dirt and play. I have set tires and this lattice and stuff on top until we get to plant. But... Um, Anyway, it just gives you a little idea what we got going on out here. I got these doors. Um, there's one here and then one here. They were laying alongside the road. They are from like an old refrigerator cooler uh, that you might find at the gas station or something. And um, so what I've done is I took some straw bales that I had here and made myself a cold frame and then I've been using that on top uh, the other day the last two or three nights it's gotten down in the 20s and so I've pretty much had to um, put the cardboard on top of that and then put the the door on top of it because <laughs> It's so cold. Uh, it's not a real tight seal, but at least it's keeping things um, keeping things alive. I tell you, these poor cabbages and some of the broccoli and cauliflower, they're just aching to get out of there. But um, it's windy today, and it's going to be a little bit chilly yet, so I'm I'm hoping that maybe I can get them in the ground yet here towards the end of the week. So uh, over here is just kind of my in-ground little uh, patch. And I did not plant anything in here last year. Um, with the way life was, I pretty much stuck to my raised beds. But this is really, really rich with rabbit manure so it'll get cleaned up and cleaned out and we can use it uh, then on over here we have these barrels here <clears throat> that my daughter's boyfriend kind of helped me cut and I've got uh, those and I use those for tomatoes or peppers sometimes and uh, so I've got I think three more to cut up but I, I need to get more soil stuff mixed up because I don't have enough to get everything filled that one is still empty 
Now we've got to get these all amended. Let me check over here. Yay! I see the rhubarb is coming up. Yay, rhubarb! <laughs> Some more over here. I've got two plants in here. So that'll be good. But yeah, that's that's it in a nutshell here at the house. Um, I've got flowers and things out front, and uh, that bed kind of got taken over by vines and that. But anyway, I just wanted to give you a super quick glimpse. <laughs> Doing what he does best there, being silly. <clears throat> That's kind of why everything's got to be barricaded and have stuff. I've, I've got a little fence I'll have to put around my my boxes. Here's one here too that's kind of off the deck. And I've got another one on the other side. That big thing was just for storage, but that's getting burned and the stuff in there is junk for next week is our um, junk pickup. So <laughs> I've got another box like this one that I'm going to plant some stuff in here in these boxes off of the deck. Our little burn pit pile over there. And our swimming pool. Kids have fun in that. And I have fun in that in the summer after working outside. So, thank you for sticking with me as we just have a quick little tour outside. See ya.